the structure of this market we're looking at is resembling a trading range. We can see that the exponential moving average, this blue line is 21 bar EMA, just as a supportive indicator, is being flat. It's not pointing down, it's not pointing up, it's being flat and price is swinging up and down, up and down, up and down through this EMA. You guys can see there is a low of the trading range and there are highs of the trading range. We can see one top, double top, triple top right here. Since this is a trading range and given the nature of trading ranges, I'm drawing the short -term trend lines very tight. I want to follow the trend line rule. We have the most recent trend line rule in front of us right here. We have a uptrend working higher followed by a break, new extreme form. The key level of the trading range held price and price continue pushing lower on a second entry short, excuse me, on a third entry short actually on my chart and price reverse lower. Now this is the nature of trading ranges. We want to fade these extremes. We want to buy low and sell high and we want to preferably avoid trading in the middle if it gets congested. But if we get reversal pattern felt second entry long, I would be interested in shorting the felt second entry long, hoping for price to reach the bottom of this trading range because the downtrend right now is in play and price strongly pushed below EMA, gave us a lower high, confirmed the bearish momentum and price is right now pushing lower. I need to see better signal bar though than selling this and it's not at the EMA quite yet. Price is continuing pushing lower as in trading range, we expect for price go from the resistance all the way down the support. There was a second entry short right at the open, but my downtrend had a break and a new extreme form. And I wasn't feeling uh, excited to take second entry short directly at the market open. I was looking for a lower high, never formed. The market consolidated, strongly pushed down. And right now we are finally reaching the support, the key level that you're expecting to reach. It was only a first entry short, no high probability set up as a second entry short at the key entry point for us to take. Right now price form an overshoot for the major downtrend which means that we can expect a large bullish correction. For the reason I'm going to be staying away from a two-legged pullback at the EMA given the fact that we have an overshoot so I'm just watching this market go down without any chance for me to jump on board. So let's see if we can get a few decent setups. This is a price action you trade what you get not what you want and I have an overshoot and there it is the larger correction is coming into play. All right, we have a failed second entry long forming, confirming the overall bearish structure, bearish downtrend. First break for the downtrend, so we expect to get a new extreme because we pushed back below EMA. But this failed second entry long is forming far away from exponential moving average and I cannot take a short here just yet, unfortunately. All right, traders, I'm resuming the video as we have a lower high setup that is about to trigger. And it looks like we missed the entry. So I'm gonna have to cancel the order because we already reached the scalp portion. But what I was looking at, I'm looking at the small little trading range that right now is being in play. I see that the price broke out of the key level, tested it and strongly pushed below EMA and this downtrend still is expected to reach new extreme. So we're coming off the top here, I expect for price to create new low, strong push below EMA, confirming the bearish momentum gave us a nice lower high. It was very bullish at the end of the bar, everybody started selling. All right, traders, quickly resume the video as we may have a lower high setup forming right here. I'm just waiting for trigger Order, and we got filled. So I'm going for eight ticks. You guys can see everything is already put in place. I'm moving my runner at these slows, but right now we have to get out of this trade with eight tick scalp and this was quick easy scalp and I was looking at this as a lower high after a felt second entry long above EMA coming from range highs downtrend is in play it is right at the EMA so we pushed right below EMA big bearish bar confirming the bearish momentum confirming the downtrend this is a trading range you guys can see prices swinging up and up and down so with such a strong push below EMA and this bullish bar closing below EMA confirming the bearish momentum, I drew the shortened downtrend which now serves as a key entry point. Two key entry points combined with the EMA, this is a lower high after two felt attempts to go long right at the resistance after felt second entry long basically. As you guys can see what a strong of a bearish momentum this is. Alright traders, so quickly resuming the video is I'm going to trail it really tight again because right now the new low of the overall downtrend has been reached. We are at these lows, if you guys can see. It doesn't seem like that because my runner is messing up with the point of view. But we have a trading range. We are at the lows. So I don't want to risk price bouncing up here and eventually reversing. So I will gladly take something around 10 points. This is not looking like a strong downtrend. In fact, we have a break and two bigger legs down. Of course, if we keep pushing lower, I will gladly squeeze as much as I can of this runner. I'll just keep it right here. Let's see if we can survive little pullback here but it looks like it, it may get us because we're really far away from EMA 
so we may get just 10 points yeah. and we got stopped out all right quickly resuming the video as there was a lower high that i was contemplating taking because we had a little bit of a reversal pattern but we strongly pushed back down below ema because the overall structure remains to be very bullish for the reason i'm not really particularly looking for longs so i'm just letting these long corrections play out because the overall bias is bearish and with such a strong push below ema which is confirming back again that the sellers are in control the market gave me a lower high setup that confirmed the ema but this bar formed really quick and was way too big and there are some lows that i was watching like this and i necessarily don't want to go short directly into this generally i could have snuck in with the engulfing entry but there is no tick higher and reversal for engulfing entry either so i was sitting on my hands it's a little bit shame because you don't get too many high priority setups and this was definitely a great lower high that confirms such a strong push build EMA and overall bearish bias but there is nothing i can do i cannot break the rules if this bar is too big and my money management is not sound i cannot enter this uh, so close to these lows unfortunately all right so resuming the video as i'm sitting here still just with my one trade and uh, i haven't really managed to get another entry uh, after this lower high we had another lower high but right now it is right at these lows and the same goes for this felt second entry long that is eventually uh, most likely going to form but since you are not touching the ema and you already move quite down i'm really hesitant to be shorting right into these lows of these moves when it's not touching the ema i want to see the lower high to touch the ema uh, but the bias is still looking quite bearish this downtrend is still indicating a bearish structure all right guys preparing my limit order as i'm going to take second entry lo long here but the signal bar ended really bad that's a shame i cannot take this long now it is very tempting though uh, but the signal bar ended up as a you know what order all right so i entered the second entry long right here i'm going for eight ticks and i like it as the price needs to get a new extreme of this first initial uptrend right here and let's see i might have been a little bit too uh too early here i should have and we got stopped out i never should have entered on this um horrible signal bar so there was a mistake here all right traders quickly resume in the video as we eventually created the new high or the attempt for new extreme this is what i was looking at we just needed the two clear legs down because we had a first leg down, pull back, a second leg down like this. And we had a, on a larger scale, we have a first entry long, pull back, second entry long. So you guys can see I, I entered a little bit too early on this second entry long. But, you know, you guys saw me hesitating. I hesitated. I didn't see the bar finishing well. And my first instinct was not to take this trade. But, you know, sometimes you make the emotional mistake. And this is part of it i was supposed to stick with my gut feeling and not entering because it ended looking like a doji and had i waited a little bit and i you know would have entered this bullish bar it got a little bit stacked so i probably not would have entered because by this time it's all already too stacked so let's see if we can get a few more steps we had a great runner which fortunately can help us cover uh, our losing trade here all right guys i'm quickly resuming the video as we have a lower high forming and i am going to have to take this lower high as an engulfing entry because we just had a second entry short off the major key entry point of the major key entry point in a downtrend and i decided to take this as an engulfing thing because this is a lower high now I'm going for eight tick target profit and this is we had a new low first entry short second entry short off the bigger pattern bigger downtrend push below ema quite confirming the bearish momentum we had a first entry long which is not really a setup higher low but it trapped everybody it took one tick higher it's a little reverse down so I treat this as a lower high after second entry short coming off the major key entry point and this overall structure is still bearish. And now we had a break and attempt to create new extreme. We have a, what looks like almost to be double top. So I consider the bullish correction over and I like this lower high. But it, it is way too big to enter uh, at these lows. You need to either get in with the limit order or now you guys can see it's coming back uh, for you to get some nice limit order because it triggered lower so you can drop the limit order further back so the stop loss is a little bit smaller and you can scalp out quicker but i wouldn't have not entered uh, at the close of this bar because it is now way too big this is why i like entering limit orders they allow you to sneak in a little bit back and you have a little bit more room before you reach the scalp and you're too low here so let's see i'm going to mark this entry 
Still like the entry. Still believe we can get the scalp here. We'll see how EMA is going to hold now. Nothing I can do. Sticking to my rules, seeing the overall bias, seeing the key entry point, seeing the lower high. Now we have a felt second entry long, but the signal bar is not great for felt second entry long anyway, so uh, there is no way for me to add on below this bar right here. I'm just gonna pause it not to make it uh, too long and keep it like this. This is a nice. This is a nice bearish bar. This is not a nice first entry long, second entry long failure. This is worth entering definitely if it triggers below the bearish bar, of course. So far, there is no trigger below this bearish bar on this felt second entry long here. We may get some momentum here if we get felt second entry long here. Come on. <clears throat> Nothing I can do here following the rules, being patient. Just waiting if sellers will come into the market or not. That's the part of this game. This is a nice bar on a felt second entry long here. Ooh. All right, guys, so we may finally get the scalp here on a lower high, and they finally created a felt second entry long. All you guys saw me, I had to ride this out, but there's nothing you can do. I just entered, and I have to keep my target profit and stop loss where it goes according to rules, and I cannot monkey with this. You guys can see it came a little bit back. Pause the video because not to get it too long, but it quickly reversed, and we managed to get the scalp here beautifully. While we are in the trading range, we need to identify our key levels because we want to know to what is the target of the price direction. We can see that we have one low at the bottom right here and we have a triple top at the highest right here. Now this is a strong resistance and once price is pushing below EMA and confirming the bearish momentum, this is good information from the market that we are most likely heading from this resistance all the way down to here following the healthy trading range. Notice what happened. Market pushed below EMA, confirmed the strong bearish momentum, uptrend played out with the break at the new extreme and price formed a lower high. This lower high was way too big for enter, but this would be classified as a high probability setup. Why? Because it is according to price action rules. Upchamp played out with the break and new extreme. Triple top is confirmed. And right now we're following the trading range and we are following the high probability setup at the key entry point. Key entry point is the EMA and this downtrend. Now there was a safer entry. There was a first entry long pullback, second entry long failure. Now this is a second entry long, a two legged back with the right market context is a high probability setup. But this is not the right market context because we're heading from the top all the way down here. So the context, the structure and the bias in this trading range is bearish. So I'm betting on every second entry long, on every two legged pullback long to fail. And this is a high probability setup and this is what it's called reversal pattern. Uptrend played out, two failed attempts in the previous trend direction and we are quite close to the EMA. We're not quite close to the EMA just yet, so this is slightly aggressive. But given the fact that it's such a nice bearish bar, this entry is definitely worth it. Notice the price created a break, new extreme and form another second entry short. Now this time, this is not a two-legged pullback to the upside, this is two-legged pullback to the downside. So we are with the direction of the overall trend in this trading range. But this happened right at the open and when the market is about to open, there's an increase in volatility. There are a lot of spike moves, so I tend to stay a little bit patient. Also, I have a break in a new low of the dungeon, so I think this entry is a little bit aggressive in my opinion i recommend just waiting here and still expecting for price to reach all the way down here remember there's a still bearish bias in this trading range even though the downtrend has a break new low break and another new low that doesn't mean we're just going to pick blindly the bottom no we're just going to still wait and respect the structure of the market price created a form of a triple top and strongly pushed down and now it is starting to be obvious that this downtrend is a little bit stronger than i first initially expected just with this tiny little trend line because we made another move down then price created a first entry short and another move down 
So once we see this, price creating multiple X to new extreme, while we still expect for price to go all the way down here, this is where we're going to use the first two major swings to conf to set up the trend line and third swing confirmed it. It also fits at the bottom right here. Notice this is the first swing, this is the second swing, and this is the third swing confirmation of this price action structure confirming that this downtrend is valid. And notice how price took off and never even paid attention to this key level. So this is disturbing because there is no bounce at this important key level and it should have been. And price is just pushing lower and pushing lower and never looking back. Unfortunately, there is no safe entry for us to take. Market just creating a bunch of first entries and it keeps pushing lower. And notice what happened. This was a pivotal moment in price action and price action is so pure and it will give you all the information you need. You don't need any indicators. All the information you can get, you can acquire off the naked price action. Notice how this uptrend is confirmed at the top. It's confirmed at the bottom right here. And the last move, the last bullish move, you have two big bearish bars. And when you see two big bars at the end of the move, that generally represents exhaustion and depletion. Notice how far away these two, two bars, bearish bars are from EMA. Normally when I have an overshoot, sometimes, and this was the example of yesterday's structure, I was looking for multiple downtrends. I don't know if I can find it perfectly today. I was looking, let's say for downtrend like this, and I have an overshoot, but I keep getting multiple overshoots and they're not so steep. They're not so far away from EMA. You guys can see these overshoots or quote unquote overshoots are still almost hugging EMA. They're still barely overshooting the bottom trend line. So this generally tells me that there is not an overshoot. There's probably just a different larger pattern. But this time I saw a sharp leg down like this, which got really far away from EMA. This told me that this is probably an overshoot and not a larger channel. Also, I combine it with this downtrend with the break and new extreme and following trend line rule. Now we expect reversal. Overshoot a lot of times is unnatural activity in the market. This is too oversold. This is not the proper balance. An overshoot will lead a lot of times to break of this trend line or possibly even straight up reverse the current trend. We had a hint of reversal, but market eventually resumed and the downtrend took precedence. But sometimes overshoot will even straight up reverse the market and never look back. So with the overshoot being in place, I have to understand that in price session, that means that I cannot take this second entry short. This would have been a great tool like a pullback, high probability setup, because it is a second entry short with the direction of a trend. It is at the key entry point, but the overshoot is giving me different information about the structure. Okay, for that reason, I was skipping this second entry short and I was skipping even this lower high, especially this lower high, when there is a big bullish bar like that that closed above EMA and confirmed the wider uptrend, you cannot go short here. So you combine the overshoot, you combine it with the big bullish bar above EMA. Honestly, had this lower high formed below EMA like this without this big bullish bar, I probably even would have gotten trapped going short here because it would have been too tempting. But you guys can see from price action perspective, you're getting all the information you need. And now we know the price like to test these breakout areas. Price broke out of here and never tested the initial breakout area. And this entire move up was the goal to test this breakout area. Notice price tested, pull back lower, and now it's confirming back again the bearish momentum at this point on. This is the new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long failure. This would have been a great entry had it been slightly closer to the exponential moving average. For that reason, I cannot classify it as a completely textbook high probability setup because it is still far away from EMA, even though you expect, according to trendline rules, after break of this major downtrend to get new extreme. Still, it's a little bit far away from EMA. Market is proving us that the new low has yet to be formed, strong push above EMA and a strong push back down. So this is starting to resemble a trading range for some period of time. Move down, move up, move down, move up. Notice how EMA is pointing down the entire time and now it's flattening and it's being flat. It's just going straight. For that reason, I like taking this lower high because I still expect for price to reach new extreme of the major downtrend because this that was the structure for today. We had a trading range, but basically from the open market just continue pushing in a downtrend direction. So once price pushed strongly below EMA like this, in my mind, I thought that we're going to make a new extreme this is a great high probability setup and I still consider it as a high probability setup. It worked easily for a scalp, but you guys saw me missing the entry. You would have to be really quick. And this is why we go only for a scalp. We're not interested about predicting the big move, the swing. You're just interested in about getting your quick, small target profit and then market can do whatever it wants. 
A market did. Market pushed strongly higher and came back to this resistance. Now, when I was watching this, what I thought is the structure. I thought this is the new trend and we expect a new high after this break. I basically ignored this first like up, but it, what it ended up being, this is the first lag, correction, second leg up, and this was just a large correction. I didn't expect for this bearish correction to uh, be still part of this first leg up because we basically retraced completely the entire move. But this is what it ended up being in hindsight, first leg, pull back, second leg, which means that the uptrend played out. And now I can even, if you're looking at this like this and you're reading the price action like this, you see that the resistance is holding price. You see that there's a two legs up. I'm even okay with taking the lower high here because this is a felt breakout to the upside. Market push lower, I gave you a lower high. And then there is a felt second entry long and you guys saw me taking this lower high that confirmed the felt second entry long, the bearish momentum, confirmed the little felt breakout and confirmed the push of the resistance. Notice how everybody who went long went long below EMA and this lower high, notice how it's exactly at the EMA. This is what I really like when this low high is right at the EMA. You, I don't like chasing these trades when they are not touching the EMA like that. When it's touching the EMA like this, this is a perfect entry, great full bull bearish signal bar. So this is a great entry. Notice how key entry point is in play. So in this strategy, our goal is to find high priority setup at the key entry point. So we have two key entry points. We have the trend line and the EMA. So this is a great entry and market kept pushing lower. I took my runner too early and market just created a strong downtrend. And now when it comes to structure, I have to zoom out and I have to remind myself how the day started because the day started as a trading range and quickly pushed down into a lower tier. Price never even made it back to the upper portion of a trading range. This was the initial trading range. Notice how this entire part of a trading range is empty. So price has no intention into coming back into this trading range. And that is good enough information for me that we may have a large downtrend like this in play. Okay, this was the major first swing that helped you identify the trend line. And you would identify this trend line only after you would look back like this. And you would understand that this breakout area, this key level is not letting price push back into trading range. In fact, it's rejecting price constantly. And after such a big leg down, this is where it's obvious that the downtrend started. So this is where you're starting to switch only into short mode and you're following the bearish bias. Now, price is pushing a little bit sideways here. We have a little fell breakout out of the congestion. This little congestion is just a training range and most breakouts of training ranges will fail. So we want to fade it with the direction of a trend. We broke higher. We want to fade it to the downside, yes, but it ended up being so close to these lows. I recommend just waiting. Price created new low, gave you a felt second entry short, but I would not necessarily look for quick reversal. Even though it is very tempting, and notice how the structure is behaving. This is how the market is behaving. You never want to keep selling all the way at these bottoms. You always want to be um, selling kind of high. You want to sell the pullbacks. And notice how price always makes a big leg down. And then there's a reversal pattern, quick scalp, and then pushes down. Here's the same thing. Reversal pattern, and then pushes down. Reversal pattern, and then pushes down. Okay, I wouldn't focus on reversal patterns like that in strong major structure. Here, I can make a case for this because the downtrend is just starting. But once price keeps pushing lower, and definitely after this point, you have to forget about longs and you have to shift your focus and attention to shorts because what can happen can happen entry like yesterday because when I was watching yesterday, I think I had uh, my downtrend like this. First, I had my initial downtrend uh, like this, but as we kept pushing lower, I kind of thought that there was a larger downtrend at the time and then I ended up adjusting this. Either way, price kept pushing lower and kept pushing lower and you would think at the time because you'd be watching this with the break, you would see first leg down, pull back, second leg down and you would be tempted to take this felt second entry uh, short. And that's a bad entry because the structure is bearish. And just because uh, it looks like the downtrend played out, it doesn't mean that you can just start picking a bottom like that. No, the structure is still bearish. And in fact, this was a great lower high after felt second entry short. So for that reason, I like to focus just on the major bias because the big bias is the right pattern and will keep you on the right side of the market. So after price created at this little correction and pushed back below EMA, confirming the bearish momentum, this is low high below EMA and you guys can see today this is a very safe setup. It's the same setup right here, similar lower higher here, 
lower high similar right here. The only reason why this entry is not marked as a high priority setup is just because it's a little bit too big. Okay, it's right at the EMA, it confirms the overall structure. It's not a bad entry by any means, it's just a little bit too big. And notice all the high probability setups are just variations of a two legged pullbacks or lower highs. Okay, in downtrend, a high probability setup is going to be second entry short at the key entry point, felt second entry long at the key entry point, or lower high confirmation setup. So a lot of these setups are low highs. And then price created new low, created the first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Little break of uptrend, new extreme, great bearish bar. This is a great entry to take a chance on. This would have been a losing trade, but every strategy has losing trades. There's pretty much nothing to think about. Uh, if you took this trade, I can definitely see why. And this would have been just a losing trade and you would just have to uh, not even think about it, not stress about it. It's just second entry short. You, you automatically execute and it either works or it doesn't. And the traders are either going to come into the market or they won't. So decent entries to take a chance on. Market pushed higher, then occurred a double trap, strong push below EMA. I talked about this lower high being far away from EMA, so you're being patient here. At the same time, you always remind yourself of the bigger bias, and you always focus on the EMA, and you focus on the high probability setup. So notice we have a new extreme form, and price created a first entry short. You're waiting, that's not a high probability just yet. Pull back, second entry short. At the EMA, key entry point is holding price, two-legged pullback, decent entry to take personally i didn't like how it formed after such a big bullish bar but given how big the bearish bias is and that's the major pattern you're supposed to shift your focus on just looking to sell at these key entry points so i was supposed to pull the trigger right here uh, also it looked a little bit doji ish it's not a bad signal bar it's just a little bit neutral i was definitely supposed to pull the trigger here and this is a decent entry to take a chance on because it's following all the rules that we want to follow according to high probability setups. Now price is pushing higher, created a break, created attempt to create new extreme and there was a two legged pullback. You guys saw me explaining what I saw here. You guys saw me getting trapped here. It was just a large two legged pullback. Price eventually created a new extreme or just a double top basically, attempt to create new extreme. It cannot create new extreme perfectly, why? Because the major key entry point that you would identify after this key level was holding and confirmed the downtrend, now came into play. And this is now a new low, first entry short, second entry short. So this can be even considered a high probability setup to really understand what's going on in this market because the uptrend had the new extreme, basically the double top. Key entry point is holding price. So if you took the second entry short, such a great bearish bar. This is a great entry. Me personally, I waited for the confirmation. You guys can see how reliable these lower high confirmational setups after second entries, second entry shorts are powerful. There was a second entry short at the key entry point, price pushed back below EMA, confirmed the bearish momentum, gave you a lower high below EMA, and this was my last trade for the day that I took. And there was even a felt second entry long, which was a little bit congested by this point. I really would have liked had it to take it below this nice, beautiful bearish pin bar. This would have been a great felt second entry long. But once it pushed higher, a little bit pull back, a little bit break out, pull back pattern and reverse down. This is now even a lower high and I like this entry. You can pretty much even pull the trigger on the felt second entry long, to be honest. The chances are here so strong because this is the major key entry point. This is where all the magic happens. This is where every professional trader is starting to sell because you don't want to keep selling at bottoms. You want to wait for price to pull back and sell the correction at the highs. And this was a great entry. So, uh, this is a great area to sell according to price action rules. I noticed how you're not interested in chasing the market all the way down here on this is just a first entry. That's not a high probability setup. It's far away from key entry point. It is not even a two legged pullback, not even a low high. You're not interested. You're only interested in waiting for price come to you, come to your key entry points that you identified and where the high probability setup may appear. Since the price is pushing over like this, we're most likely not going to get set up at this trend line because it's too weak. So you're shifting your focus on the exponential moving average. And notice what you have, new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short, uptrend played out with the break and new extreme at the key entry point at the EMA. The reason why this is smart just as an aggressive like this is because the horrible signal bar, it's a doji with a little bit of a bullish body. This would have been, this was so tempting watching live. It looked like it's going to end up bearish, but it ended up like this doji. Uh, it's definitely worth the risk. 
definitely following the rules and the context wise it makes sense i would just love to see a little bit better signal bar when it comes to a uh, second entry short at the ema unfortunately but the context wise uh, this makes definitely sense and notice how we move a little bit too far down just like here we move a little bit too far down so there was the reversal pattern we talked about which you can make a case for going long here i would prefer you guys to shift your focus on shorts only little break of the uptrend new extreme form the reason why we draw this uptrend to the upside and not just to the downside because we want to monitor the corrections and we want to see when it's safe to sell so after there's a break and new extreme we know that it's now safe to sell and notice what is happening price is once again finding itself at the major key level for the day at the major key entry point this is an important area in the market and trader asked me because there was a it, it looked like there is a nice second entry long so this is tempting what do you do in this instance you look like you have a second entry long and also you can make a case for trend line slightly wider like this without the break and new extreme so what you're shifting your focus on either second entry long to get a new extreme new high or selling well in these situations when i find myself in this situation i always tend to stick with the bigger pattern because bigger pattern generally according to price action rules tend to take precedence so once i see price bouncing and confirming the main key level and the overall bias for the day is still a strong bear downtrend i'm only looking to sell and i'm not really focusing on going long directly into this key level so this is a lower high it's close above ema so this is a shame but this context wise this is a perfect entry to take a sell because once again same thing right here once the key entry point is holding price structure is bearish the bigger pattern will take precedence and this is the easy price action that you can find because by this time you are supposed to identify the channel and even if you don't have the proper channel you're supposed to have the bias down this is a strong downtrend market kept pushing lower so now you're focusing on the same story just a two legged pullbacks at the ema new low first entry short second entry short but notice what happened bullish bar above ema and then gigantic bearish bar which you cannot enter because your stop loss goes all the way above even this bar right here so context wise this is a great second entry short cannot be entered due to bad signal bar then you have a second entry short we didn't trigger higher but you can treat like that but the option doesn't have a new extreme and i would really want to see for this uptrend to create a little break attempt a new extreme and then reverse price created just a first entry nothing really according to high probability setup for us you can make a case for really pulling trigger on some of these some of these can be easily marked as an aggressive entry because at this point on notice how far i'm zooming and this is strong bearish structure ema keeps holding price every single time you guys can see this is a simple price session i'm just focusing on the really clean entries which fortunately came right here probably the best setup for the day the late entry and well look at the price action because price push higher break new extreme once again location matters key entry point and notice you had a break and new extreme new extreme new extreme and this is typical once the downtrend or uptrend gets so big and so strong price may just most likely keep recreating constant new extremes because the trend is just so strong and you're just still sticking with the bearish bias you only start going long when you have proven trend in the opposite direction okay so notice you have a break new extreme once again you around the key entry point area price push below ema which gave you enough information that the downtrend is still valid and gave you a lower high great bearish bar entry lower high uh, right below ema take higher is a little reverse down high probability setup felt second entry long already moved way too far down and the last setup for the day is a two leg up pullback first leg pullback second leg up break any new high for the uptrend so you now know that it's okay to go long where at the key entry point at the ema second entry short price created a scalp and then reverse and notice what you have we have I'm just gonna quickly draw the structure we have first leg up pull back second leg up on the larger pattern notice how insignificant these tiny two legs are we haven't really retraced too much down two legs up price pushed back below ema confirming momentum and now that i'm looking at it we even had a last new low first entry short pull back second entry short at the ema easy structure 
you even now have this dungeon in play which you expect for price to give you a new low of this dungeon so we have a two legged pullback right here and now it's getting really really close actually the market's already closed so this was the structure for this day you guys can see strong downtrend once you see downtrend like this you can get multiple new extremes even after break because it's a massive downtrend and you really are not supposed to be thinking about long so when i see structure like this i'm even hesitant to go long even after such a big bullish rally like this because it's just most likely going to keep pushing lower and keep recreating new extremes so i would rather jump in on the uptrend late then be caught on the wrong side trying to reverse the market too quickly and miss a good sell opportunities so hope you had a great trading day hope you will enjoy the weekend and i'm going to see you guys in the next one take care everybody